Hey, what's up everybody? It's VP here. I just saw this video um, about this woman. The video is called My Tram Experience and it's about this woman that is basically just talking about how Britain is going downhill because there's all these forays in the country and etc etc and the thing that that got me the most is that she was talking about how there was this black woman on the train and she was talking about how oh you're not british you're not british you just go back to where it was that you came from and like this argument is just so played out like how long are people still going to keep dropping this line oh go back to where you came from try to spit that bar to me and it's like where am i going i was born here i was raised here so to come and tell me that i'm not to tell me that i'm not british just because i'm black is stupid where am i going if i try to go back to ghana i'll tell you now i'm not Ghanaian. i'll go there and they'll, they literally my mom was telling me that when i was a baby we went to ghana i was like five months or something and they were coming they were they wanted to hold me because i was a white baby i was black I was black as, you know, this chocolate brown complexion right here. I was black, but people in Ghana would, wanted to hold me because I was a white baby. Well, obviously, like, the translation of what they said was white baby, in it Because I'm from Britain. And it's like, this ignorant behaviour is, like, who's still racist these days? Who does that? And the thing is, is that this this was a woman, like, late 20s, early 30s. She's got a kid right there. And she's effing and blinding and fucking this and all you fucking and blah, blah, blah. And go back to your... And it's like, really though, like really, you're sp you're speaking like that, and then you want to talk about how um, foreigners are making the country go downhill, but you're the one swearing in front of a little child, and that's okay. The black woman was telling you to stop swearing, but yet she's the one that should go back to her country because, but she wasn't the one acting uncivilized. She didn't swear at you. She was just saying that you need to like, you really need to get off the tram. You need to get a grip on your life. But she's the one that's uncivilized and needs to go back to her country but you're the one that's cussing in front of little kids. All right, cool. The way the world is now, being racist is probably the stupidest thing in your life. If you are racist, you wouldn't want to touch anyone from another country, wouldn't want to eat anything from another country, wouldn't wear anything from another, if you were like a proper racist, like proper British. Yeah, all right, so this woman can take off all her clothes, take off all her makeup, take up the clothes of her son, take, you probably even move out because you're maybe your um, homeowner is was um was a non-British person that you, a non-British person as this woman sees it. So and what do you have? Nothing. So if you really want to be racist, don't involve yourself with other races. Then don't get on a public transport if there's going to be other races on there, and you'll see how difficult your life will be. Ah, oh, do you know what? It's just so stupid. Even like piercing your ears. Piercing your ears didn't come from British. That was like the African tribe people, I think. You know what I mean? Like ear stretching and stuff. That comes from Africa. This is the kind of stuff that's fashionable. Tattoos. That's like from the Australian my, the Australian people that lived in the villages. The Abor the, in the villages. In the like forest. The Aborigines. Don't wear, get any tattoos. If you if you really want to be... What, what would you have left? Nothing. There isn't really much to the British culture. But what we have now is, is an incorporation of every single culture that now lives in... This is a new Britain. You need to get... This is not Victorian times. We are not slaves. You need to just understand that... No, we're not going anywhere. And obviously we're doing some good. Otherwise, the government wouldn't have let people come into the country. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all, all foreigners are, like, good. Because um, some of them are crooked. You're going to get it everywhere. So whether you accept uh, minorities or not, you're not going to completely eradicate all bad things, are you? No. Like, so really, I'm not British. So what does this say? Last time I checked, look. British passport. If I was not British, I would not have this passport right here. So come and tell me something that I'm not British. Dickheads. Alright, bitch. Peace.